Hey everybody and welcome back. If you're just tuning in, this is Tattoo Collectibles and I'm your host, Eric. So, this week we got some very cool stuff in the mail to show you. Uh, one of them I was kind of duped into buying and I, I'll go more into that. Uh, duped in a good way, I guess. And then we have some more of the, uh, the East Coast tour for you. We're gonna start wrapping this up. I have the first part of the Spalding and Rogers tour. You're gonna wanna stick around for that, it's super cool. But right now, we're gonna turn it over to uh, Mailroom Eric and he's gonna show us some new stuff. So check this out. What's in the mail? Hey everybody and uh, welcome to What's in the Mail. So this week, now I told you that I got duped into buying something. We'll go into that one here in a minute. I duped in a good way. I, maybe I shouldn't even use the word duped. I should uh, happily confused. So this one is from Marysville, Kentucky. This one got here really, really quickly. I cannot remember what is in this. So this will be a surprise to us both. is something neat uh, so we are in the middle of building a new uh, shop and we want some old school stuff uh, to hang in there some some tattoo collectible stuff this is one of them this is a copy of an old sailor Jerry piece that used to hang in his shop now I think this is gorgeous this is a high-res copy this is on heavy, heavy cardstock, and uh, I cannot wait to put this up in our new joint. I think that is gonna look really cool out front. So yeah, I think I paid like three bucks for this. Um, and again, it came from Kentucky. Um, whoever down there, they've got the original one of these. But I just thought it was neat, and I thought, man, that'll look so cool hanging in the shop. So we just went ahead and popped on that. Some of the stuff that, that I see, like I see a lot of copies out there of stuff. A lot of it I don't care for because they, they copy it in hopes that you just won't read in. Zaclay uh, is a word that they use a bunch. Uh, it's spelled uh, G-I-C-L-L-E, no, G-I-C-L-E-E. -E. It's pronounced Zaclay, it means fake. So if you ever see a clay copy and it's not, uh, it doesn't say, you know, it's a clay original, uh, I'd skip that. Now this, this is the one I was kind of duped into buying. All right. So I'm on Workhorse Irons and it says the Dan Cuban slash, uh, I think it was Seth Safari did it with him, um, Ghost Dog Revival. Now one of them was $650, one of them was $55 and I, I was like, I, did I catch them like on some kind of drop sale or something? No. What happened is they came out with a really cool poster. Oop. And there's the receipt. A really cool poster for the Ghost Dog Revival. Uh, and it was $55, which I thought, originally I thought, man, that's kind of high for a poster. Then I saw this poster. This is, okay, let's get, let's get this part off of it. This is a black light, black velvet Ghost Dog Revival poster. Now, check out how freaking crispy that is. If you don't have one of these, you should definitely get you one of these. And it's Adam Safari. It's Adam Safari and Dan Cuban. They got together and did the Ghost Dog Revival. Okay, so, but when I saw this, I was like, I was like, man, I, I was curious as to how it was gonna look. And then when it got here, it, like everything else from Workhorse that I've ever got, it, it didn't fail to impress. I love this poster. Gentlemen, this will be going up in our new place. Uh, Y'all are gonna have to stop and see that. Uh, it's gonna be pretty neat. I'm gonna go ahead and gingerly put this back until we can get it uh, framed up. But yeah, they were 55 bucks. Uh, and then when it showed up, loved it. If you don't have one of these, definitely get one quickly because they are limited edition and they won't be around forever. Now, and they always come with, uh, as per use, you, you, know, you get the, uh, the little workhorse uh, sticker. Okay, so, and just grab you one of those. They're so neat. Uh, now, this next thing, you don't come across things like this very often. 
Uh, in the ad, it said that it was the original wallet of an old timer from uh, Maine. And then some various other goodies along with it. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh, this smells like tobacco. Oh, it's strong, too. I have no doubt. Jiminy Christmas. It's like I just inhaled a cigarette. Oh, this is nice. And this is Tats Tommy. It's Tommy Tats. It's his, uh, it's the wallet that he carried. It's, it's super neat. On this side, it's got the, uh, the, uh, Panther. On the other side, it's actually got his name and, uh, some, uh, some vine work done in there. I thought that, whoo, and you can tell it's authentic by the smell of it, man. So, they sent us, whoo, that is some strong, you can really smell it. Um, they also sent some, uh, this is an original, uh, it's laminated, but it's an original um, uh, copy of the paper that he was in. Uh, and it's got a, it's got a story that says, 50 years of tattooing experience puts tats at the top of his trade. Now, tats, Tommy Tats was um, a uh, craftsman does needlepoint on people. This is another um, newspaper, but that this one's not laminated. I think they sent me two of the same paper. You know what that means if they sent me two of them. Yep, they sure did. So there's two of the same paper. I might include one of these in the, uh, the thousand subscriber giveaway. So, and then this is the very first, um, now these are photocopies of this, but I still, I think this is neat. I'll, uh, I'll definitely cut it out and display it with. This is the very first health department uh, issued this is the first uh, Department of Health and Welfare, the first license ever issued in Maine, was issued to Tommy Tats. And that's a copy of it. And then they sent me some other, let's see, daily me. This is Tats's, uh, uh, Tommy Tats's uh, obituary. They sent me a copy of that, that's super neat. And then here's another um, newspaper article with him in it. Now to me, uh, old Tommy kind of resembles Uncle June from the uh, from the Sopranos there. This is gonna go up in one big collection. Oh, and they sent us some photos too. Now, these are awesome. I, I would definitely get you better pictures of these, but these are, these are candid family shots of, of Tats uh, in his shop, sitting in front of a wall full of, uh, of just cool old tattoo flash. Now this all looks to be in the same, in the same shop. Those are super neat. Um, when you see stuff like this, and I got all this, like this whole package, I think ended up running me under a hundred dollars. Now to me, this, this is worth more than that, way more than that, because there was only one of these. There's still, there's only one of these in existence. And this is the one that you could tell, I mean, it's rough on the edges. He carried this and it's, it's even got the, the indent where he would have sat on it for years. Uh, couldn't be happier with this. This is gonna be all framed into one uh, shadow box collection. Uh, stop by the new place and you'll be able to see this. Uh, I'm definitely gonna put these up. We should, we should definitely have uh, big places in every one of our shops that we are displaying uh, stuff from a bygone era. You know, if we don't remember this history, nobody's gonna remember it for us, man, you know? So that is what I had for What's in the Mail this week. That was a pretty special What's in the Mail. Uh, I am pretty thrilled to get that, uh, to get that. So I'm gonna throw it back over to, man, I'm just taking back in the smell of smoke. Mm, that, that really sealed the deal as to far as if it's real. Uh, I'm gonna throw it back over to, uh, to announcer Eric and he will uh, tell you what's coming up. I will see you next time. Ooh, that what's in the mail Eric is super excitable, isn't he? Hey guys, if, if you, I didn't wanna hit you with this right away, but if you've come this far in the video, 
and you are still hanging in there, uh, please hit our like and subscribe button. The thousand subscriber giveaway is coming up and some of the stuff that you've seen uh, is actually gonna be coming at you, you know, so you definitely wanna get in on that. Now, without too much further ado, we have this Spalding and Rogers uh, tour and I want y'all to check this out because we had a great time there and we got some really great footage. So, check this out. And then this is this is where the magic happens right here. This yep. is the machine assembly. Yep, we spent a lot of time in there. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, how long have you been running uh, Spalding Rogers now? Me, well, I've been here. My grandfather raised me from age two, and so I've been here my whole life. Oh no, kid. Um, most kids were playing with Tonka toys, and I was building tattoo machines. <laughs> now he. Instead of models, he had me making old lightweights and Supremes by probably age eight. <laughs> you know, so, um, I've been in it my whole life. Um, I tended to, I mean, I can tattoo, but I don't because this part just engulfed me. It takes I mean, too much of your time, yeah. It's not just as it sees or looks on the surface, you know. There's... There's all sorts of machine knowledge, and there's all sorts of geometry knowledge, and I mean, there's a whole lot more than just okay, do this. Right. You know? Right. I, I I gotta mix a thousand colors. I gotta make frames from scratch to, until they're done. Tattoo machines. I gotta want coils. I gotta make needles. You know? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now, how how big of a crew do you have here doing that? Um, well, on a full day, we have about eight people in here. I got another person up above who's my brother who was also half owner at a place with me and we got two tattooers up in the studio oh nice so, i didn't realize you tattooed here too yeah, yeah. awesome awesome all right and this is the um this is the needle grinding room where we physically grind the needles so everything made in-house yeah. yeah they were all custom built machines for us the blue ones? Yep, the blue ones. No fooling. Yep. That's a rarity these days that, that everything is made on site. You yeah. Know? Yeah. There was only other a couple a couple other factories that ground physical needles, um, other than like sewing needles and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, but we've been doing this all of 12, 14 years. Crazy. And I mean, it takes a lot to, to get going on it, but if I buckle down and sit in this room all day, I could probably grind 90,000 needles in an eight hour shift. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that is bumping them Once out. Once they start flowing, they just follow. Jiminy Christmas. You know? But you live and learn. And then this is uh, assembly. Needle, needle assembly. Needle assembly. Yeah. So you, uh, you do them on bar and uh, uh, off bar, I we guess? Do. We sell them loose. We sell them grouped. We sell them on bars. Um, he does both revolution, marker bars, regular tattoo bars. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, this is, a, this is the, just the main assembly area. Like I said, all the beginning magic happens over there. Yeah. You know? uh, in the machine shop. Yeah. 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 I can take you through there and give you a little bit of knowledge on that. Awesome. Now, um, I've been getting a bunch of people asking if you still have the engraved Supremes. We don't have the gold ones anymore. We mm -hmm. should have some coming back from Chrome, um, possibly today, um, the, the, the Chrome ones. Um, but, yeah, I mean, we do, but we don't. Right. You know, we're, 
we're doing the, the chrome one still. Um, the gold, nobody would pay for them these days. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, with yeah. gold going up the way it's right, going up. Right. Yeah, it's not I can like understand it that. used to be. You right. Know? And, and when we had them, we, we were working off a of back stock. Oh, you no know? kidding. So to send them out these days and do a batch of 100 or whatever, yeah, wouldn't wouldn't even be worth it. The price is going to be through the roof. Hmm. You know. Yeah, because I know um, I see them from time to time on a secondary market, mm -hmm. but they're five six hundred bucks now mm -hmm. to get one of the old ones. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day today, uh, Bill. No, it's good. People definitely want to see it. I'll tell you that. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, a little bit of other history. That's too cool. So, this place has been here, what, since 56? 56 we started. Nice. Yeah. And then that's the that's where the magic happens with oh, the yeah, machining. Sure. Yeah, all the machine shop stuff. Now, from seeing uh, pictures of it when it was early, early on, this place is enormous by yeah. comparison. Well, it was because we took after shipping. Oh yeah. The whole size was was machine shop. Oh man. But, And those are all ready for plating. Oh no, they're a long way from plating. Oh, are they? Yeah. These are just all raw. They're ready to go back to the machine department back there where he's going to do all the machine work to them. And then from there, they'll head into... ...our polishing and coupling where they will get the final setup on them to oh, go wow. to... Uh, to go to Chrome. But no, uh, you'll make your way back here to, uh, to have all the preliminary work done to them. Oh, awesome. So all the drilling and yeah. filing. Yeah. How you doing today? Good. Oh, wonderful. And a supreme is born. Oh yeah, <laughs> on its way to being born. Anyway. Yeah. So is the supreme your best seller? Um, since we switched back to the same cast, the supremes we can't keep in stock. No, nope. yeah, I mean, yeah. I got back orders built up, probably all of them. So they're already gone. Right. And nobody knows really other than hearsay about the lightweights yet. That's our first batch of sand cast lightweights from the old mold. No kidding. Yeah. But we're coming back out with them. They'll be the nice big thick ones like they used to be. That is so awesome. Yeah. Now when can we expect that? Well, they they just came in, so there's there's a couple weeks of work before they'll be ready. No kidding. Yeah. Well, I'll have to get on that list. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, don't go quick. Alrighty, I was going to get these. Uh... So now, are these Jensen's on the bottom? Are they? Uh... Are they from when he bought out Jensen? Well, yeah, we have a uh, in one of my other stores. Bill, it's a whole bunch of old Jensen frames. No, just in storage. Yeah, just doing nothing with them. No kidding. <laughs> They're all like, you know, in the shape of that one. Oh, uh, yeah, all rusty and yeah. pure is what I like to call it. Man, that is an awesome collection. World's smallest working tattoo machine, eh? Yep. We built each part of that here. We uh, did it for the... Guinness Book of World Records. <laughs> and no uh, once I submitted everything, they told me that there was no category for it. 
Usually they make a category, don't they, yeah. if they don't have one? Uh, we built everything here. All them parts were made, and the thing actually goes <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Now those little, are those the, uh, are those Leon Millers? No, they're things that, um, I got them from Tommy Supply. Oh, right on. They were just knick-knack type deals. I think I've got some of the same. Had a really great time there. Uh, those guys uh, are just so nice. If you're ever in Voorheesville, definitely step in, uh, stop in there and see these guys. They have live tattooing going on on the site. They have everything that was ever in that catalog or that's in the catalog now. Uh, everything is there and ready for purchase. Uh, if you love their flash, they have flash that they purchased throughout the ages and you can still get almost all of it. Uh, stop in there and see those guys if you're ever in Voorheesville. Super nice guys. So, that is all that we had for you this week. Uh, I couldn't believe that Tommy Tad stuff. It's definitely going up in the shop. Um, hopefully you all liked it. Hopefully you learned something that you didn't, uh, had never seen and didn't know already. So, until we meet next time, what I want you to do is I want you to stay safe. I want you to treat each other nice, and I want you to keep on collecting. Hey everybody, thanks for watching, and please hit the subscribe button down below, and check out these videos. We've worked real hard on these too, and I think if you enjoyed this one, you'll enjoy those too.